Hello, my name is Reverend Father Lomachine John. I am your priest, your friend, your brother, and most importantly, a fellow Nigerian. And I want to lend my voice to the answers ongoing peaceful protests. Ephesians 6 12 says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. In Nigeria, the principalities and powers we are wrestling against by this peaceful protest is not a human being, it's not the president, it's not the vice president, it's not the IG of police, it is principality and power. And this principality and power is the system in Nigeria that has frustrated over the years organic development that has given only a very stingy allowance for cosmetic development in Nigeria. That is what we are fighting against and that is what this NSAS protest is all about. It's about the reformation, the change of this system. So it is not about the change of name of the operative. It's like carrying a Barcelona jersey and putting on Chelsea players. They will still play like uh, Chelsea players, lose like Chelsea players and win like Chelsea players if they don't get the training of Barcelona players. So what we are asking for is radical reform that will make the country better. We are not targeting anybody. So the demands are simple. Decentralize the police force in Nigeria. Decentralize it. We borrowed our system of government from US, UK, and stuff like that. In the United States of America, uh, policing is, is local. So to say, they have three levels of policing, local, state, and federal. We should have the same in Nigeria. It's not working when the IG of police will post somebody from Zamfara to go and become the commissioner of police in Nemo State, a place that is completely alien to him. He does not know the language or the culture or the worldview. Or he post somebody from Adia to go to Sokoto and become commissioner of police. He does not know the language, the worldview, the mannerism of the people. Or something from Oshobo to Kano and stuff like that. This is not working. Policing is beyond carrying arms. It's about understanding the people and speaking a language that they understand. Those are we need to decentralize. I know that the aim is to achieve unity, but unity, the multicultural, multiracial, uh, multireligious, and pluralistic society is neither a singularity nor a rigid uniformity. It is just a harmony of diversity. You don't have to take an Igbo man, an Okoro man to Sokoto who has not been there all his life to become a commission of police in order to engender unity. It's not working. Decentralize. In the United States, you have the uh, New York Police Department, NYPD. You, have, you go to Los Angeles, you have LAPD, uh, Los Angeles Police Department, and all of that. Each state has its own police force and, and command and structure, independent of whoever the police chief in the country is. That's how Nigeria should be. So we should have a state police. I know that some people will say the governors will hijack it. Who says the governors must be in control? No. A state police with a commission that you know brings out the um, uh, um, um, the modus operandi of the police the the commissioner of police should be somebody who is from that place or somebody who was born and bred and knows the um, knows everything about that place whose family probably even lives there and so his interests uh, his interests are there and he wants to protect his interests so the state police both the recruitment of police officers the administration of of the of the police itself should come from the poli uh, from that state it shouldn't be something done from abuja everywhere so decentralize um the police you go to um uk the same thing you have london metropolitan police they are not responsible for policing in uh, in scotland you have the scotland yard they are responsible for policing in manchester and other places this is how it is done. Division of labor. This is simple economy. It makes the work easier. Decentralize the police. It is the reform we are asking for. Then funding of the police. Police should be adequately funded. Our Nigerian police force today is not funded. It should be funded. And we hear that there is something called security vote for governors. What is it? Huge amount of money given to governors which they account to no one. And I was told that the idea was borrowed from U.S. where the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, is giving certain amount of money. They do not make any public accounting, but because of the covert operations, they do. But they report a particular committee, and that money in the U.S. is not given to an individual, it's given to an agency. So why give money to governors? No, those security votes given to governors should stop. 
it should they should be used to open accounts in each state the money should be paid in the state security account the the commission of police there can be a signatory the governor whoever he appoint whoever he chooses and uh, maybe the accountant general of the of the state and some other stakeholders all that the commission of police needs to do is to present his budget for what he needs logistics materials he needs to keep the state safe and the money is approved and he goes to purchase all those things and then he makes an uh, account the money given to governor security vote should stop it should be used for the for funding the state police then the third point is incentives for our police officers the children of our police officers across nigeria should have access to free primary and secondary education and subsidized university fee then free medical attention in certain areas because of the risky nature of the job that their parents are doing we should be able to afford this for them they should have these things free these are the changes we are asking for these are the reformations we are asking for these are the resources we are asking for it's not just about ending SARS or changing the name this is what we are asking for and this is how it should be done so this protest is not about an individual that's why i'm appealing to you my dear brothers and sisters who are also in the police force we understand your frustrations we understand your difficulties so we are asking you not to jeopardize or sabotage this reform because it's also going to uh, affect you positively don't shoot at protesters please don't shoot at protesters provide security for every peaceful protester out there because when this reformation is achieved you and your children are also going to benefit i'm appealing to even children of police uh, men i'm appealing to children of politicians if you know your father or your mother is occupying a position in nigeria and can do something please talk to them because listen hmm, what parents do will have follow their children if you keep quiet and your parents are packing public money bringing for you you are enjoying my dear brother my dear sister it's a matter of time it's a matter of time you may be at the cost to your fourth generation so i'm appealing to you once again i mentioned decentralize the police funding should be done for police in the state and then incentive for our police officers their children should have free education and free medical care for all that they do so this is what this protest is all about i'm appealing to members of the national assembly if this has to take a, a legislation to achieve go ahead and do that legislation don't wait for things to get out of hand go ahead and do that legislation that is what this is all about we are tired of changing race horses in nigeria that is not the problem of nigeria what we need is to change the race course and that is paradigm shift we can't keep doing the same things the same way and expect different results it does it cannot work like that the structures we have so far have been frustrating organic development in nigeria they have only allowed selfishly just some cosmetic development we can do better than this so this is what this call is all about mm -hmm. n sas mm -hmm. s is the structure mm -hmm. and the structure that has frustrated development a is the administration and this administrative uh, architecture that has frustrated uh, um, development are its resources and this form of resource provision that does not take care of anything and as is the strategy and this strategy and begin a new strategy of retraining our force men and also how to engage please my dear brothers my dear sisters i believe that every person of good will should come out and join hands and let's achieve this i think this is the first major change that will happen in nigeria when we do this other things we follow we talk about other things but for now let us end sas remember it's about ending the system it's about ending the structure nobody should frustrate this movement and to the protesters i appeal to you don't use foul words don't insult the president don't use negative words don't use inciting words this is not about an individual don't be violent even under provocation keep your cool so that this positive action is not sabotaged what you are doing is the most important thing we sustain the peaceful protest and at worst we can appeal to international community to come to our international communities and organizations they can sanction we can ask them to sanction our political officers if they don't want to do what is going to be good for this country they can place them on visa ban on travel ban place them on medical tourism ban and place anything that is of their interest abroad we can appeal to these people to make sure that they hold them nigeria will be better nigeria must be better may god bless you